say you can't walk this battlefield without getting blood on your toes. If you close your eyes, you can hear them. Their final war cries. Before every last one of those brave Spartans perished. Their voices were silenced that day. But their story will be sung for an eternity. You didn't bring me here to talk about dead Spartans. What's on your mind, Rothothos? The Battle of Thermopylae still echoes in our hearts. But to stand here is to feel it in your bones. There is nothing here but ghosts. My concerns are with the living. Hold out your spear. My spear? What for? I need to know something. Herodotus. I'm fine. I'm fine. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. Where were Sparta's allies? The Spartans weren't alone in facing Xerxes and his hordes. Many from across the Greek world were armed and ready to fight alongside Leonidas and his 300. But when the mighty king looked into their eyes and saw fear, he sent them home. That sounds like madness, not bravery. It was foretold by the Pythia that Sparta would lose either its freedom or its king to the Persians. Leonidas made his choice. What happened to Leonidas after the battle? Xerxes was famous for honoring warriors who fought valiantly against the Persians. But Leonidas infuriated him so much, he cut off his head and impaled it on a pike. A bloody battle ensued, and his remains were reclaimed by the Spartans and buried here. Now, however, he rests where he belongs. In Sparta. What happened to the traitor, Ephialtes? King Xerxes paid him well, but treachery breeds treachery. A contract was put on his head, and he died as he lived, a coward. 
You knew this would happen. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I'd convince myself was a dream. Until now. A peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious shapes carved in stone. Like nothing I've ever seen. You want to sail to Andros so you can show me shapes? In my travels, I heard whispers of an ancient civilization. A people who came before. Your spear and that place are connected. You mentioned the people that came before. Who were they? They were not gods, but they lived far longer than any mortal and were far more intelligent. I've seen carvings in caves, strange symbols that suggest it was this ancient civilization that created humankind and provided them with fire. But Zeus blamed Prometheus. Yes. Well, perhaps his eagle has been feasting on the wrong liver. The spear awakened to you, Herodotus. I trust you. You understand? I will do everything in my power to help you find your mother. I promise. But first, we must sail to the island of Andros. I'll meet you at my ship. Welcome aboard the Adrestia, Irodotos! Will you be traveling with us? Only for... I have business to attend to in Athens. Irodotos is helping me find my mother. Seeking help from the gods has put Irodotos on your path, just like they put you on mine. They work in ways beyond our comprehension. All we can do is follow their lead. You could be right. Herodotos and I share enemies too. Like El Pinor? He is, was, a part of a very powerful group called the Cult of Cosmos that controls the Greek world through the Oracle. Control the Oracle? Impossible! Apollo would not allow that! Now they're looking for my mother. I need to find her before they go. I believe they could hurt others or pose their views along the way. By Hermes! The Oracle lost to corruption, and now this cult? Do we know who needs them? I don't know for sure, but... I think it might be your sister. Your sister? Why, Zeus, your life is complicated! Tell me about it. But don't you worry! This cult of Cosmos now has three new enemies, and one of them fights like a pinar and shits thunder like Zeus! We'll bring the wrath of the gods down upon them! Is he always this positive? Always. That's why I like him. Poseidon, carry us to Athens! First, we need to go to Andros. To Andros, then! We're going to have to do some upgrades to my ship if we're sailing into war. What do you mean? Well, she's old, and perhaps not in the best condition. You couldn't have said this before we set sail? Where in Poseidon's name are we going to get the supplies? My father taught me that the sea takes, and we must do the same. Fortunately, there are plenty of pirate ships in these waters that we can board and take from. What are we waiting for? Let's hunt some pirates! Rowers in position! Sails down! Persia. I'm sure. 
a site where the greatest... Arm yourselves! My mother told me that the Spartan army brought it back from the Battle of Thermopylae. Why bring it back to her? Leonidas was her father. Incredible! Look there! Did you wish? Always. Perhaps he was trying to guide you. Show you a path. There's more. It helps me in battle. What do you mean? I can't really describe it. It's like I know what my opponent's next move will be, just before it happens. Fascinating. This is just extraordinary. We're moving now! We can't Bust move down. faster, Commander! Rowers, go! Stop the ship! Is that a door? I've never seen anything like it before. How do I get inside? I wonder if... Hesitation only hastens. The grave, I know matter. Your form is improving. Your resolve is strong, but you're not taking action. I was going to. I know, but it's the moments in between that decide everything. Your turn. Leonida Spear. You're old enough now. My father's spear holds a certain burden, but you're ready. I felt something. Huh? The spear. It has magic. It carries with it a long line of power. A bloodline of incredible heroes. The same blood within you and me and our family. All of us? Think of Leonidas. He had great courage. And he made a great sacrifice. You share his blood and the strength he possessed. We are able to feel certain things happening around us. That is our family's gift. But not everyone understands that. Some recognize the power we bear and want it only for themselves. They will try to take it from us. I won't let them. I know. You're a warrior. If we keep moving forward, always moving forward, we're untouchable. Storms coming in. Then maybe we should move forward now. <laughs> Mother, I haven't forgotten you.
How does a place like this exist? How could I even explain this to someone like Marcos? Something's glowing over there. I knew I let you stay in the Animus too long. Your vitals are crashing. You don't understand. This confirms it. Alexios didn't just have Isu technology, he had the means to improve it. Imagine how powerful the staff could be. I admit, that could be an incredible find. But right now, I'm the doctor, and I take care of you. Now get some rest before you go back to Alexios. No time to rest. Abstergo goons could be tracking us down right now. And the rest of us will be ready for them. If you burn out here, our mission will be done. They told me you had a cheerful bedside manner. Don't forget, we're a team. We'll back you up until you're finished your investigation. I know. Kyoshi secured the loft yesterday and he's keeping an eye out. Elena's on call doing historical research. And I'm here to talk if you're feeling any confusion from the Animus. Always the therapist. So, Doctor, how do you feel now that we're closer than ever to the staff? I believe this staff is important. But the Templars and Assassins have found staves of Eden before. Nikolai Tesla blew one up in Russia, if I remember correctly. This is different. If what I saw in Egypt is true, this staff doesn't control minds. It controls physics. Time. Imagine rewriting the rules of the universe. The spear you found is right here, and it's not doing anything. The spear's attached to a bloodline. Leonidas, Alexios, and Themos, I mean, Cassandra. They were intimately connected to it. Are you sure you can use the Staff of Hermes, then? No. But if the Templars get it, they won't stop until they find someone who can. So, what do you think of my new Animus? You mean, our new Animus? That's Abstergo equipment. Which I've modified to within a millimeter of its digital life. It's an Animus console prototype, Brahmin variant, with the I.O. capacities pushed to their max. Ultra portable with more calculating power than NASA and CERN combined. I'll go stretch my legs. Too bad we don't have access to the Abstergo gym anymore, huh? Membership costs too much. Eagles are fine and all, but a pet monkey would be even cooler. I can. He sure does talk a lot. Is there anything I can help you with? So, does what I'm seeing as Alexios match your research? I had to tweak the Animus to use what we have of the book as a reference. That book is a lost work by Herodotus. He basically invented the concept of recording history. And other figures are matching up too. Cleon, Pericles... The chance to see the past firsthand is why I joined the Assassins. Most people would talk about justice or leaping across rooftops, but history's cool too. I've loved history since my grandpa told me stories about his grandpa back in Ireland. He was an adventurer and sailor, so I'm continuing the family tradition. I feel so lucky. You make your own luck, remember? 
Why do people keep telling me that? So I've met Herodotus, but I don't know much about him. He's brilliant. His histories are considered the foremost textbook of classical Greece. People have made their careers analyzing his words for some new perspective. To see him in his own world, walking in the polis, and... Sorry, but he's kind of a hero of mine. You can fangirl all you want. Yay! I'll leave you to your work. If you need anything, just let me know. Are you sure you want to go back into the Animus right now? I get the impression you'll be there a long time. Yes. I'm ready to go back to Alexios. All right. I'll be watching your back. My spear is stronger now. The cult won't stand a chance. Well... Herodotus will be happy. It's clear. Someone was here far before we were. Did Leonidas know this place existed? You're not hard to track. Did you come alone? Are you all right? <laughs> Cassandra, you're alive. Don't touch me. Oh, come on, little sister. You have to tell me everything. What's happened to you? I don't have to tell you anything. I don't know you. Well, I know you. It doesn't matter. There's more important things to argue about. You're right. Like that stunt you pulled with the artifact. It caught my attention, if that's what you wanted. What? The artifact showed the truth. We're family, and we made it out of Sparta, alive. Yes, it did show the truth. It confirmed what I always knew. You threw me off a fucking mountain! Oh, if that's what you think, Cassandra, you must have hit your head on the way down. I've heard the story, and not from a liar like you. And never call me Cassandra. Right, Vimos. Now her, I don't know. She's a demigod, worshipped and feared by the cult and all the Greek world. Sounds like a fantasy to me. Did the cult cook that story up too? I'd watch your fucking mouth, or I'll shut it for you. You didn't when you had the chance before, and I bet you won't now. This is stupid. We need to find our mother. I'm not interested in reunion. I just want to know what you think you're doing. Same thing as your cult. Looking for Mirini, our mother. They don't need her. Your cultists think differently. She's their next target. If they ever pursued her, it would be to kill her. But if you don't know where she is, that means she abandoned you too. How sad. Even if we were abandoned, we survived. We can go back to the way things were if we can find her. The Count has no interest in sentimentality or family. Its only aim is control. If they're after all of us, there's one less person to find. I killed Nikolaus. Yet here you are acting so righteous, when really you're just like me. 
I don't care what you think. I'll find Merini. Do the right thing. Come with me. What? We could find her. Together. You could help me. Oh, you think friendship is the answer? Running around like lost children looking for dear mother. You're so weak. It's responsibility, not weakness. I won't abandon the whole family just for spite. Responsibility? Get off your high horse. The cult has a plan, and it won't be interrupted by the likes of you. Taking your own mother isn't enough for them. We're not abductors. We're political. Those who don't stand with us stand against us, and they pay for that mistake. Like me? Like you. I heard you're planning a trip to Athens. When you go, tell Pericles and his elitists come. They're next. The cult let Mirini live. They let Nikolaos live. Why kill them now? Because you live. You brought this on her and yourself. The cult is powerful, but they're mortals. I have the blood of gods, so they think you do too. But they'll see how wrong they are. I'm going after the cult, you know. You've seen our numbers. You've seen what I can do, and you still think you stand a chance? Try me. So having guts runs in the family, does it? <laughs> you claim we have the same blood? So let's see what you can do. We still found each other, sister. I told you not to touch me! Demos! <sighs> Malaka! He wrote to He needs to know about this. Well, was the legend true? Was it magnificent? What happened to you? And your spear? Slow down, Herodotus. My spear is stronger now. I can feel it. You were right. There was some kind of artifact there. It showed me a vision of me and my mother. So, the ancient civilization is real. Alexios, you have no idea the power you possess. All harnessed in Leonidas' spear. That's not everything. Demos followed me here. The cult's already moving, she told me herself. They're going after us, my family, Pericles. Why would she tell you? Unless it was a trap. It doesn't matter. We have to get to Athens to warn Pericles. And we need to find my mother before they do. Then, we go to the Peniques. If Pericles is anywhere, he's there. 